Welcome my loyal viewers and subscribers. I uh, just look on the thumbnail. I want you to prepare yourself, you know. Because what you're gonna hear you know, in the upcoming video is the most wicked labor rights. Yes, when I said the most wicked labor rights in Jamaica, who wants the government to kill Jamaicans? This person is a threat to national security for the law abiding citizens in Jamaica. This man is Jamaica's number one enemy. He's an enemy of the Jamaican people. He is worse than the gunmen, them, the marauding gunmen, them, that walking around and killing people at will because they feel like they have immunity from prosecution. And they are emboldened. And their the favorite choice of gun is the rifle. And then you have this labor right. Yes, nobody elected him, but he's the wickedest, the most wicked labor right who wants gunmen to kill Jamaica. So I want you to stand by for that video that is coming up. This is one of the wickedest labor right ever in the history of Jamaica. This is a man who hate police, he hate police, and he hate law abiding citizens. If you are not Christopher Dudu's court, if you are not a criminal, he has no love for you. He doesn't love law-abiding citizens. And I'm going to show you tomorrow who is this labor right. Yes, man, when I say labor right, I'm talking the, um, the man with the bill. He is a threat to the national security of Jamaican people. And the worst thing is that, man, I'm telling you, the worst thing is that this boss is slave, you know? And I'm telling you, man, I just, it's just mind boggling what is happening in Jamaica. But I am not going to, you know, express myself or what I really want to about this individual. But, you know, after careful analysis, I know that this man, this person, is a wicked person. Who on God's earth would want the fellow citizens to be killed and left at the mercy of gunmen? Who would want to do something like that? What is the... Oh, so he's saying that majority of these people who are being killed. They are not labor rights. They are PMP supporters. So you're playing... Poly okay, so you're playing politics with people's lives. And then now you're saying now that the police, the police force back then, the police force is a PMP organization, law enforcement powers. So stand by. Tomorrow you will get the full version of this wicked, wicked um, labor right.